I am so excited to come to you today and share this amazing recipe with you. Hey guys, what up? Jackie Cooks here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am so excited about this video. Today, we're going to be making baked ziti, three cheese with spinach. It is so delicious and so tasty. You're going to love it. If you are new here and this is your first time, welcome. My name is Jackie Cooks. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. We're going to be using a brown onion, which is going to add so much magic to this dish. I love onions. Onions can be roasted, grilled, pickled, caramelized, battered, and deep fried. I love onion rings. This onion chopped up is going to enhance the flavor of the baked city. And onions make everything taste so good. Garlic is such a delicious ingredient that adds so much flavor. We're going to be using just a few cloves. Garlic is the seasoning of the gods. You can never have too much garlic. And it's so easy to use. It's so versatile. And it goes with absolutely everything. Fresh garlic is so delicious. Comment below if you love garlic. We're going to be using 16 ounces of ziti noodles, or you can also use penne. Any tube-shaped noodle will work. It's your choice. In a large pot, we're going to start four quarts of water to boiling, and we're going to add about two tablespoons of salt. The salt adds flavor to the food, and it helps it boil faster. In my cast iron Dutch oven, I'm going to add in one pound of ground chuck, one medium onion chopped, don't like onions in your ziti? Hey, if you don't like onions, you can leave them out. We're cooking this on medium-high heat. I'm going to add one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. These are all the seasonings that I'm using. Half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano. One-fourth teaspoon of dried thyme. We're going to cook this until the meat is completely brown and the onions are translucent. The smell is incredible, guys. I wish you guys could smell it. Since the garlic burns easy, we're going to put that in last. And we're going to cook that for about another two minutes. Smells amazing. Now that our water has come to a rolling boil, we're going to add in our pasta. And we're going to cook that about seven or eight minutes until al dente. Did I tell you guys how much I love spinach? I could just sit down and watch a movie and eat spinach out the bag. I'm weird like that, but we're going to be adding fresh baby spinach. Oh, yes. Add the spinach the last minute of the cooking time. Look good, don't it? Mm-hmm. I know it. You guys have to make this recipe. It's so easy, so quick, and full of so much flavor. We're just going to give that a quick stir. You are loving this. Okay, we're going to drain the pasta and the spinach in our colander. And we're not going to rinse it because we want the sauce to stick to the noodles. We're going to add about 40 ounces of marinara sauce. This is jar marinara sauce, but I do have a recipe for homemade marinara sauce. If you like to see that, comment below. Let me know. After this simmers for about 15 minutes, we're going to add about one cup of ricotta cheese. And we're not going to mix it all the way in. We're just going to leave it so we can taste the texture of the ricotta cheese, which is so good, guys. Gently mix it. Woo-wee! We get to add our spinach and our noodles, and we're going to mix that together. This is perfect for potlucks, baby showers, birthdays, you name it. At this time, we're going to add our marinara sauce to the bottom of our baking dish, which keeps the ziti from sticking. You can make this ahead of time and refrigerate it until you get ready to cook it. If you're still here and you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. It encourages me to make more videos. 
We're going to be grating one cup of monster cheese and one cup of Parmesan cheese. I usually use mozzarella cheese, but they didn't have any. We're going to start off by layering our baked ziti with one layer of the pasta mixture, one layer of the monster cheese, one layer of the Parmesan cheese, another layer of the pasta mixture, more monster cheese, another layer of Parmesan cheese, Bake for 30 to 40 minutes. Broil the last two minutes for a golden brown crust. Let sit for 10 minutes and then enjoy. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.